What's going on guys? Cassius Marsh here, Arizona Cardinals. Coming here to train with Michael Hearn. We're here at Gold's Gym. I'm excited to learn. A lot of experience, a lot of knowledge. Just here to soak up whatever I can and get slow, baby. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Uh -huh. We're chilling, Gold's Gym Venice. Yeah, you ready to throw? What do we got man, today? I'm, I'm excited to see what, what you're ready to throw my way, man. I'm just gonna try to, uh, because you're an athlete, one thing that you don't need to do, and it's funny that so many trainers train you guys, um, they keep a typical bodybuilding style of training in the sense of the, the range of motion, where that's not who you are. Right now, you gotta be able to be strong in weak positions, yeah? Because yeah. everybody else is like, no, no, you gotta be strong in the back's gotta be this. You're never in a perfect position when you're hitting somebody. Yeah. And society is so, uh, Forgive me, forgive me for saying, but mentally weak, yeah. when they see somebody arched forward, they sort of chest up. Yeah. They're like, no, no, you're gonna hurt yourself. You're that way for like seven the time in the game. Yeah. You, well, you'd you'd, you'd prefer to be. Oh yeah, well, I mean, for us, it's all about like your pad level, leverage and stuff like that. And so I'm never gonna be hitting someone with like my, my back It'd be nice. extended and my core all perfectly activated. It's, almost never like that most of the time i'm in the most awkward positions just trying to get into the leverage where i can hit you where i want to hit you you know what i mean and it's a split and then get your ass down <laughs> for real because these running backs are shit they're huge the running backs as big as me which is like uh that wasn't the way back in the day when i was playing and stuff you know a running back is uh, 200 was a good size, or 210 was a good size, but now they're 250. And running four three forties? What the hell? That's Eric Henry right now, bro. He's a monster. He's changing the game. He's like 6'5", like 235, and runs four four. It's nuts. It's a, it's a different level. It's a different level. So I, I know you guys are going to freak out when you start seeing the way I'm going to put them in positions, today, especially for the lower back. Um, because, again, athletes, you guys really do think your athlete is up here or down here? It's right here. It's that booty, it's that hip explosion, it's it's, it's that lower back that... Strong abs, all that good stuff. Crazy stuff. All right, let's get rock and roll. See the position, nice. Pulling it up, beautiful. 15. So two things, when you do basic hyperextensions like you were doing, right? Yeah. It's more of a glute crunch and pull, yeah. which is great. Don't stop doing it. Yeah. But incorporate in the concept of just the lower back. Uh -huh. So as you do a crunch, you're just moving the upper body. Technically, the bottom you do a crunch. Exactly. Technically, this is what I want you to work here. Not the hamstring glute pulling. This is the spot. So jump in. Move them up best you can, relax the glute, focus on the lower back, lifting you up, and squeeze. Jump forward, same position, everything. Next thing. Don't touch my hand. Arch over as far as you can. Arch, 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 arch. Now contract it back, go. When you contract back, pull the elbows up and out. Hold it. Go again. Up. Two. Three. Beautiful. Four. Five. Ten more. One. Two. Three. Hold. Four. Squeeze everything. Good. Again. Five. Five more. One. Hands out. Go. Two. Again, three. Don't stop on me. Come on now. One more. Get out of there. Oh, two. That changes it up. <laughs> that changes things, actually. A lot. For some reason, when powerlifting and bodybuilding was created, they think that that was man strength. Uh, it's not. It's like, uh, I, you know this. I could take a 190 pound wrestler and he'll throw around a 260 pound bodybuilder powerlifter. That connective tissue, that's the shit that 
people go, well, he doesn't look that strong. And then he knocks your head off. Yeah. That's real strength. Perfect example of that. I was, uh, when I was young, I was in college. Uh, Jay Glazer, okay. he came and grabbed me. And I did a workout with him and Chuck Liddell. And you know Chuck, I mean, he's a pretty big guy, but I was... Uh, They're not football big, though. Yeah. They're not middle linebackers. They're tackle big. Yeah. I was like 280 at the time. I used to be 300 pounds. And... Uh, we were wrestling, I was like 280, and we were doing like, uh, you know, the grappling shit. And he was like messing around, we did it for a little bit, and he just grabbed me and tossed me and threw me against the wall like it was nothing. nothing. And I've never been thrown like that, you know? I'm 280, you're a big man all yeah, the way through. Playing a ball player, I've been doing well in college, like I didn't think that was even possible. He tossed me like I was nothing. It was crazy. See, that's, that's it. You guys are listening to uh, the pinnacle to me, to my belief, is the pinnacle athlete, a pro football player, um, athletic position too, outside <laughs> defensive tackle. Um, so getting tossed around by a guy that Chuck or, or, or uh, Glazer did it? Chuck. Chuck did. <laughs> and, and Chuck, <laughs> Chuck uh, obviously, wrestler background and stuff. And I keep talking to you guys and telling you guys about that, that wrestling mentality, the connective tissue. That's the strength you want. You guys keep going, hey man, that guy's a monster. Doesn't mean they're strong, man. So so lose that process. And the only reason I'm being able to train in my 50s like this, injury free, is because I understand the concept first, athletics first, connective. Go again. He's been doing the one way for so long that that lower back fatigue. Go again. He's going over my hand. Nice. There's no weight. We're not using any kind of weight. So don't don't get this ego that you gotta use weight. Good. Stop, flex, again. Flex, nice. Okay, now here it comes. Now one at a time, one at a time. Don't fatigue it, go. Four more. Three, two, one more. Get out I got a stretch before this one. I'm hurting. <laughs> you know how everybody says, no, no, stay right here? Uh -huh. No, I want you to pull the circle back. So pull like... Yep. Perfect. Okay. Next thing, hand reverse, all the way outside. Nice. Yep. Go. Good. Yes. I know you guys are already watching this going, wow, he's moving too much. Again, he's not getting ready for a bodybuilding show, guys, so relax. I need motion out of him. I need movement out of him. Wide grip. Feet flat on the floor. Don't need to always be on the rests over there. Look, bring the chest up off the pad. Woo! Look at that. Eyes closed, mind muscle connection, feeling it. Who wants it? Nice. 
Nice. Look at now. I know he's wearing black. It's a slimming, but you can see everything firing. Everything. Great motion. Come on. All 15. Keep the head. Keep that head. Keep it up. Nice. Today I'm going to make him rest in between sets because I don't need him fatigued for today. But when you're an athlete, a current athlete, I, I don't mean like a has-been, like Heath Evans that rode the bench. I'm talking about a current athlete that's playing. Um, the rest period is different. He has to train to get more white blood cells and red blood cells going so he can keep playing for four quarters. Where in the off-season, I'd slow him down to get the strength up. So this is two different things. training uh, off season and stuff how fast are you moving through the exercises it depends on like what type of work I'm doing like you were kind of saying earlier fresh out of the uh, out of the break I do a whole lot of uh, recovery type workouts get my body back to ground zero feeling healthy core strong you know all my joints feeling nice and greased stuff feeling healthy then I'll start doing the heavy weight to build up the strength in my body, start building up the muscle mass again. And then as we get closer to the season, that's when I start doing more hit workouts, you know, uh, putting, pairing three different workouts into one cycle and kind of hitting it back to back to back, Love. mixing in abs and stuff like that to try and hit the full body and stuff like that. But around this time of year, it's more like, heavier lots of reps and let everything come back in yeah so the strength back up so smart if you just take that one portion of what he said and dissect it you will all succeed you can't go a hundred all year so if you don't know this you're not as strong when you finish the season that you are at the beginning of the season bones connective tissue all that stuff hurts after the pounding and so what he said was to dissect it for you guys to just make it layman's terms he backs down lets the body heal as he brings up the strength level again so it's a completely different concept and then he moves in each stage until he's ready to go back into season that's when he's speeding hitting hit cardio and and hit training and moving through it smart all you boys and girls at home say again say again this will confuse all you boys and girls okay he's down he's set Number four. Whoa, wait a minute, what's going on? His back's not contracting together. That is correct. We're not working here. This is already firing. We're working right here. So it's almost like a lat spread. If you guys ever do that, lat spread. We're pulling this back out and around. Out and around. Now you can feel that. Two more, two more. Beautiful. One more. Nice. How's that feel? How you feeling, big man? It's different, man. In a totally different spot than normal. I like it. Learn something new every day. I want that bar coming straight down, not back towards you. Look. Look at the arch. I love this. Nice. 
So I understand if you're not an athlete, you're not playing pro football, you might say this isn't for you. Wrong. Bodybuilding shows are one from the back. This lower lat is one of the hardest things for anybody to train. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Yes. So, I know again, we go back to your experts. You say the back's gotta contract. This is just like a lat spread. So you're pulling this out and around. Nice finishing tree. Who's up? Just grabbing into my shit. I bring it down, you know? It's crazy. And then for you, a lot of rip and pulling. So I'm a judo player. So a lot of stuff I'll do is I'll come up and grab and try to control the guy and I'm pulling. It's the same thing with football. You guys are. I'm going for a set of rub here. I'm doing Judo, judo, and uh, judo wrestling and football. Those are three things tied together here. Like some of the best defensive linemen, pass rushers, are former like state champion high school wrestlers. So, and it goes back to what I was saying to you guys before. Before bodybuilding, before powerlifting, it's athletics. And athletics is what's going to keep you moving, mobile. Uh, don't get so tight into it. I want to be the strongest guy or the, uh, the physique. Because then you're missing the whole aspect about longevity in life. Athlete. And so what he was just saying too is, you saw when he was ripping, pulling me, there's no contraction to the back. He's moving under, getting to the hip. So take that stuff, man. He's spitting out some great knowledge for you guys today. Pay attention to what it's doing. I know that you guys are mostly bodybuilders and powerlifters. But if you come from this aspect, you're gonna kick ass. Hold. Beautiful. Hold. Three more. Two more. Good, good, good. One more. Woo -hoo -hoo, out of there. Crazy, right? Whole different so when I said, part of my back. when he started, I said that superhero look. So if you guys ever see like superheroes or comic books, it's this trap and this rear delt and this, this muscularity up here. And so what I have him do, which is great, he's got healthy shoulders. So instead of keeping it here, I'm making it over exaggerate. Because I'll guarantee there's a hundred times where he's tackling somebody. For some reason that arm's up in here instead of down here. And you're all over the place. So this up here, over exaggerate, squeezing everything up top. Oh yeah. Fine tune. What that shit. Like it. Spoon is different parts of the back, man. It's different. Like it. Like it a lot. The reason why I don't lock myself down or anything like that is because the hardest thing, you guys gotta be able to see the back without looking. You guys can train your abs and everything else, but you're looking in a mirror. One thing you have to do with back is you gotta feel it and understand what's going on in the mind. So by not locking myself down, the one thing I can, you can't do is this. So you gotta flex it through, just like you're on stage. Without cramping like I'm cramping. Holy jeez. <laughs> oh. You guys are gonna love this exercise. Now for all you bodybuilders out there, you're gonna love this. But you power lifters should be doing this as well. Again, isolation of the back. And then also if you're like a model like these guys, these guys are all incredible high powered influencers. Woo. 
So he's off the bench because I want the control of the weight. So the control of the weight, you can't bounce around or anything like that. Straight over, 10 to 15, straight in, 10 to 15 again, super set. Arms are locked. Nice. Now I like that, what he's doing. Because he's finishing it off with the pull. We come over, lower lats. Come on, Cash, come on. Cash is clay. Were you named after Cassius? All right, so let's figure out uh, who he was named after. Cassius, who were you named after? Greatest, greatest of all time, Cassius Clay. Now known as Muhammad Ali, greatest of all time. Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee, baby. Right there. Over the honeycomb. Gotta pay respect to the great ones. Hey, Cassius. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you feeling? Feel good, man. Feel pumped up. What'd you think when you were, before you came in, what'd you think it was going to be? I honestly just came with an open mind, you know. Um, you know, well, I know that the, the two worlds are very different. I know that your your, your background is, is real vast, you know. So I just came here with an open mind. Wanted to learn what I could and just heard some new stuff, try some new stuff and came in and definitely everything that we did was something that I, you know, something brand new for me. And so, you know, it was great to just learn, you know. I love it. Um, when you guys listen to the same, Bypass some of the training, bypass some of the different exercises, and listen to what he says. Um, learning, and again, you guys are YouTubers, and you guys know, out of all social media, you guys are the worst. Um, we give you so much information. Take the information, apply it, and try it. Don't just instantly go, ah, it's wrong, it's negative. Try it, man. Uh, we were just talking about a couple of guys that their whole principle, uh, Bruce Lee says, empty your cup. Um, and that's basically what he did. He emptied his cup from everything he's learned, which is completely full. He's a pitiful athlete. But he said, forget everything. Let me come in, see what you got to teach me. And that was what Bruce Lee tried to preach. And he came in and did some wild stuff, some fun stuff. Yeah, man, I'm grateful for the opportunity to learn, man. It was a great workout, you know, stuff that I'll definitely take into, you know, into my everyday workout, you know, being able to hit different parts of the back and, you know, um, just try something new, you know, the weight room is it's not limited to certain exercises. And I think that's a, a lot of people get stuck in, you know, the typical stuff, the bench press, the, the, all, the rows. And, How much you, know, you deadlift? What do you bench? Yeah, exactly, all that stuff. I, I, me personally, I barely, I can barely probably put up 315 right now, but I can throw a 350 pounder, like if you know what I mean. So, Which is more uh, important. Relative strength is more important to me than, than anything. So. That's longevity too. Yeah. The concept, just like he was just saying, and for all you guys out there, I, I know 315 or 405 or a 500 bench is cool and fun, um, but he was just saying, he said he could toss around a 350 pound man, not just a 350, I, I hate that, because I hate just saying 350. A monster. A monster, a pivotal athlete that could take me and toss me around, he tosses around. So just take that aspect into this whole thing. Today's uh, all about athletics and changing um, putting yourself in awkward positions. You'll be back? I'll definitely be back, man. I'm looking forward to it as well. I love it, man. Um, great season this year. You kicked, uh, you you personally kicked the sheesh out of the Seahawks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I loved I loved watching you do that. Again, man, uh, humble as can be, fun to hang out with. Sorry about my crew. My crew is completely no. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Oh, they're awesome, man. I really appreciate the opportunity to come and learn. Much love, brother. And and again, what do you want to say to Shad for uh, backing out, running away? I mean, I'm just going to say that, you know, you missed out today. Today we got better, and today you got worse. So, mm. sorry, bro.